uh, uh, for us as EPP group, the largest political family in the European Parliament, it's great to be in split. We are discussing uh, yesterday and today uh, the ideas for the next upcoming nine months. That is a preparatory uh, phase towards uh, the European elections next year. Uh, our continent will decide about the future and we as the biggest party in Europe we want to uh, offer to the citizens a convincing approach for how to manage uh, the next years in front of us to create uh, safety, to create uh, also protecting Europe uh, for their daily life. Um, and that's why we care first of all about the very concrete issues on the table. For example, inflation, uh, living costs, housing is close to our citizens. We try also on European level to assist the national level together to solve these uh, questions. We have as a second top priority the migration debate on our desk where we must reduce the numbers. The numbers are too high and uh, the state must decide who is uh, coming and not the smugglers are deciding. Uh, and to combine this also with a humanitarian approach that we are committed to also help our Ukrainian friends, those who are as refugees here in Europe, so to find a good balance on this. And the third point is for us the future perspective for Europe. The European People's Party, we are the Christian Democrats, we are the founding party of uh, today's European Union, Adenauer, de Gasperi, Schumann, made today's Europe possible. And uh, our idea is now to offer also for the next years a convincing plan how to strengthen uh, the today's European Union, to continue our path. And for all these debates, it's great to be in Croatia, because Croatia is a perfect country for discussing these issues. I want to thank Andrei uh, Plenkovic, the Prime Minister of Croatia, for his clear commitment, for his leadership. Croatia is a place where we can see that we can convince people in favor of a pro-European approach with the Schengen enlargement, with the Euro, uh, joining the Eurozone approach, uh, that you can win the support of citizens for doing so. And this spirit of Croatia, this spirit of HDZ here in Croatia is a motivation for us on European level. And uh, it shows also that partnership, national, strong politicians, and European embedded uh, uh, approach, um, especially having Andrei Plenković as, uh, as Prime Minister in mind, that he is uh, well connected, knows a lot of friends on European level, that is benefiting the Croatia and also Europe is benefiting out of this. That's why it's great to be in Croatia.